what's fascinating to me is like without exaggeration in every single Jehovah's Witness thing we've watched, including every of these three short films, there is a character whose work like interferes with their their religious life. Like, you know, if, if it was in one or two films, I would say, okay, it's clearly important to the Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, it's a motif. I get that. Hey, not a bad message, but it's in every single film. Like, I just think that's remarkable. Yeah. I mean, we've definitely praised them before for being like, weirdly, like you could call them one of the more like leftist, like, <laughs> like, uh, or like Christian sects in that way because of how much they, you know, want to like, you know, remove, uh, you know, ha- have separation from work, not have work take over your entire personal life. But, you know, obviously they have their, they want, they have something else that should dominate your personal life and yeah. all your way of thinking. So they, they included the Bible verse in the climax of this one too, Mark 10, 21, right. Where, uh, Jesus says, one thing is missing about you go sell what things you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come be my follower. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, why, why waste your time trying to accumulate wealth in this life when it will really just, you know, it, it'll kill you in the end and you have something much better to look forward to. But like, is all this not sort of a humble brag? Like without exaggeration, every character in every single one of these films is getting money and pussy just like thrown at them from all sides. <laughs> <laughs> it happens when you're Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. It's the Sigma religion. Yes, it really is. It really is. Because you get all this shit. You get you get money, dick, pussy, whatever you want. <laughs> it's yours. But they turn and they say, no. I only want Jehovah. Yeah. Bring me him. Bring me his head on a silver platter. 